Hello, everybody. Uh, to start, I need your help because I want to ask two questions. So please answer fast as we don't have that much time. So if you think about the last months, who has used at least once a physical whiteboard? Thank you very much. And who has used at least once a digital or an online whiteboard? Okay, you see, at least there are some more numbers. And I think that's a very interesting survey and result we got now because we see that as the wine law, but the whiteboard has become virtual, digital, online and accessible from everywhere, it gets to use more often. And I want to tell you today what is an online whiteboard. So imagine the physical whiteboard you have and then stretched into almost infinity. So where you can connect all the people from all over the world and start adding content in real time, like uh, sticky notes, images, documents. So basically everything you have done on your physical whiteboard, you can now do uh, online. And this provides us with a challenge because people need to learn using these kind of tools. And I think it's uh, something really great now because we can start doing workshops and meetings in a much more sophisticated way. Well, simple example, imagine you want to do a brainstorming session in a chat. It's um, maybe not, that, not the best tool for doing that because it's missing the visual part. And uh, humans, they're all visual people. And this is why this way of co collaborating visually brings a big advantage and makes collaboration much faster. So if you think about your collaboration workflow, starting maybe in a chat, going into a video conference, and then jumping on a whiteboard and doing things that are visual, visual is a, is a big help. And uh, this is why so many organizations have started, at least during the pandemic, online whiteboards, and they have become an essential tool for, for designers, for, for HR, for project managers. They use it for, for brainstorming, creating mind maps. Also, the whole agile methodologies start to be uh, somehow represented on the online whiteboard. And we see a lot of companies that are still relying on physical walls, putting a lot of sticky notes and cards. And the problem is basically that um, it's difficult to see that when you're remote. So, and the other problem might be that these cards fell down when you walk uh, too fast away. So in this case, doing these things digital is, um, is a big advantage. Now, when we pitch usually the online whiteboard, one of the difficulties is, is the use cases. Because imagine you start on a blank piece of paper. Your creativity is almost endless, and that's also somehow uh, what somehow related to the use cases you can implement with an online whiteboard. So you can do a lot of things, but you need to figure out what are the important things for you and for your teams for uh, using an online whiteboard. Most of the online whiteboards are browser-based applications, so meaning you can just access them from every device and from all over the world, meaning as well they're cloud-hosted solutions. Now, as we talk today a lot about privacy, data security, and this is a core element of uh, Nextcloud. Um, I'm here from, from Collaboard, and Collaboard is uh, an online whiteboard we developed with a small software company in, in Switzerland. And if we look at the market, it's a, it's a very powerful, feature-rich online whiteboard, and we also focus on, on the security. We even thought once about putting the data somewhere into the, the Swiss mountains. But we didn't do that as we found some better hosters in, in Germany, like the Open Telecom Cloud. So Collaboard, in the end, it's a GDPR compliant online whiteboard you can get from the cloud. You can host it by yourself on premise. And this offers a lot of uh, customizations and uh, also a set of public API developers can, can use. We created an integration with Nextcloud. So there is an app in the Nextcloud marketplace where you can get your Collaboard app and uh, you can log in. And this is the cool thing now because when you're in the workflow about collaborating with your team, you have everything in one platform, you have everything in Nextcloud, and then you can jump immediately during a call or during a session on the online whiteboard, work creatively, do a brainstorming session, and overall have everything in, in one solution. So we might know maybe once there will be a new icon for, for the whiteboard. Yeah, 
that's all I wanted to tell you today. Um, you can test Colaboard for free. There is also a, a free version. And um, try the next cloud integration if this is something you would like to test. So thank you, everybody, and have a good rest of the conference.